Hello everyone, myself Sumagla Birata. In previous video, we discussed about birthday problem and birthday attack. Now in this class, let's see about tiger hash. This is one of the hash function which is used to generate a hash key here. So it is designed by okay two cryptographers that is Ross Anderson and LEPM. So design criteria for designing this tiger hash is to provide the high security and it must be optimized for 64-bit processor and it is easy replacement for traditional hash function that is MD5 that is message digest 5 or SHA-1 it is okay secure hash algorithm 1 here. Tiger hash it is consist of 24 rounds here. These 24 rounds are divided as a 3 output rounds as a 3 outer rounds and these 3 outer rounds consist of 8 inner rounds. So for each outer round 8 inner rounds that's why it is 8 into 3 24 rounds this tiger hash function consists of. So input to hash function is divided into a 512 bit blocks here. Okay, Whatever the message will take for this tiger hash function know that it is divided as a blocks and each block is of size 512 bit here. If the last block if it is not fulfilled this criteria. So for the last block you not get the exact 500 bits here. In that situation yes, you can go for the padding here. You can pad with the zeros here. So message may be of any size. So that size is divided into a blocks based on the message size. You can divide as a two blocks or you can divide as a three blocks here. So for example, I take the message as a hash function. Two for this one, it is two blocks are enough here. So like that assumption you make. So if it is messages hash function is divided, then you require the blocks of four here. So based on your varying size messages, you can get the different size of the different uh, block, number of the blocks here. After applying this hash function to those messages, what are the output you will get? Now that output is fixed off size 192 bits here. That is the one of the property of the hash function. What is that? So for varying size messages, what are the output you will get? Now that output is fixed. Okay. So see for this tiger hash function for varying messages of any size but output is of fixed of 192 bits. So that is a form of 364 bit words here. Okay. And so as you know that tiger hash function consists of how many rounds that is the 24 rounds. So from each round you will get the output. That output is we call as a intermediate round output. Even intermediate round outputs is also of size 192 bits here. And this tiger hash function consists of four S boxes here. So X boxes means what it is? Substitution box it is. And each maps 8 bits to 64 bits. And you are using key schedule algorithm here. So that's why here you are not using the any external key here. So here key is generated with the help of this key schedule algorithm. And that is applied as a, okay, applied to the input block here okay so for the input blocks what are the keys you are required now those keys you are getting from this key schedule algorithm so this is the outer round here so in hash function how many outer rounds are there three outer rounds here so this is one outer round here so here the input x is padded to a multiple of 512 bits as i told earlier your message is divided into blocks and each box is of size 512 bits so that is so now x message is consist of okay multiple of 512 bits blocks here and that is you are written as like this x equal to first block x0 second blocks x1 and last blocks it is x n minus 1 here so each block is of size 512 bits here so x i indicates what it is this is the one block input here okay so now for this one Okay, you are taking the inputs here, A, B, C here. A, B, C are what now here? A, B, C are the constants. So, these are the constants for, okay, values that is in the form of hexadecimal here, okay. So, this one you are taking as a input and your, okay, bit of the message of the first block. These are the inputs for your one of the function that is the F, I here. So uh, in FI you are performing some operation. So after that, 
okay you will get the output that output is of abc only and that abc you are sending as the input to the f7 here and f7 block contains what it is so first inner block it doesn't use the any key here just your message block and the abc constant value so in the second row it is takes the input okay as a key that key is generated with the help of this key schedule algorithm so w will is the key what are the key you are getting from this key schedule algorithm and what are the output you are getting from this f5 function those you are taking as a input to the f7 here and from the f7 what are the output you will get that output is abc and that one you are shuffled and you are taking as a input to the f9 here so now after that what are the output you'll get from this f9 now those are the output values and initial constant values you are adding here in the first first a and output of f9 as a, a is xor that what are the output you'll get now that is the output of the first tiger out around here in the same way b what are the b you'll get it from this f9 and initial constant b so you are performing here subtraction here after performing subtraction what are the result will get now that is the output b here in the same way c is what here it is your initial value and next you are getting the c from this f9 function so those two you are adding after adding that what are the output you'll get now that is your c here okay so that's why the final abc output from one round is the initial triple from the subsequent subsequent round and the final abc from the final round is of size what it is it is the hash value and it is size of that hash value is 192 bit hash value here this abc is your hash value size of this one is 192 bits as you told as i told earlier each is of 64 bits now in the outer round input to the outer for this f5 what are the input you are received are a b c here so from this f5 what are the output you'll get that output is also a b c here but for the f7 so those inputs are shuffled here instead of taking a first for the f okay so f7 input first is what c next is a and next is b here okay so in the same way for the f9 what are the inputs abc are the inputs but instead of taking those abc as as it is directly you are shuffled once again so now first you are taking b next to c and next a here okay so in this way even what are the inputs you are taking for f5 after that you are performing some operation what output you'll get no that output you are not taking as an input to the another f function so you are shuffling and you are taking that input in this way your even output of the each function is also shuffled and it is taken as a input to the another function here so each function fm consists of eight inner rounds here so this fi is one fm function f7 is one fm function and f9 is also one f of fm function and these functions consist of how many inner rounds eight inner rounds here Okay, let's see about this inner routes in next video. Okay, thank you.